Did your site lose a lot of traffic in the recent helpful code update and you have no idea how to recover from it? Then stay tuned in this video. I'll show you exactly how you can recover all your lost traffic and improve your content just with the help of ChatGPT. So let's get started. So the very first thing that we want to know is that this method works with both the free version of ChatGPT as well as ChatGPT+. I'll give you the link of both the prompt as well as direct link to the GPT that I have created. But in this video, we'll actually have a look at the free version and how we can use my prompt to do this. So let's have a look. What we are actually going to do is let's say you are ranking for a particular keyword but now with helpful content update your rankings have dropped down to let's say second page but a new page is ranking on the first position. So what we are going to do is we are going to compare the content on your page versus the content on the site that is ranking first and we'll try and understand with the help of chat GPT how we can improve our content so we are able to recover the lost traffic. So let's see how we can do that exactly. So this is the prompt that we are going to use. I'll link this down in the description below. So we'll not waste time and go through the whole prompt. We'll actually take a look at how it works in real life and in action we'll see that. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy this whole prompt and we are going to go into chat GPT free version and just paste this here. So now what we are basically going to do is give chat GPT both the articles. We'll have to manually copy paste the article. That's the downside of using free chat GPT. Whereas with the paid version, you can simply give it the URLs of the post and it will fetch those posts. So let's say this is the article that you want and this is from your site and you want to recover the traffic back from. So what I've done is I'll simply copy this article and just tell it here that this is my article. And below that, I'll just paste this. Whereas after that, I'll do that. This is the competitors article. And let's say this is the site that is now ranking number one XDA developers. So we'll copy their content and we'll again paste that into chat GPT. And now we'll let chat GPT process the whole article and give us how we can kind of improve our articles. It will take chat GPT a few seconds to understand both the articles, compare them and then come up with a very detailed resource like this. So what it's going to do actually is it's going to rate your article on helpfulness, Ex experience, expertise, authoritativeness, trustworthiness. So basically all the factors of each as well as helpfulness. Similarly, it's going to do the same with your competitors article, helpfulness and all the other factors of each. And then it's going to summarize it in a tabular format. So let's have a look at the table first. These are the all the aspects of the article, which includes helpfulness, experience. And this is your article versus your competitors article. And you can see how they fare in comparison to you in all of these categories. So this is what kind of Google bot also sees and tries to understand the content by scoring it. Not the exact method, but this would be something that bot would try and understand your article by. Let's have a look at the detailed understanding of this article. So why this is giving my article a 7 rating in helpfulness is that it provides instruction on how to but where it can be improved is also mentioned. There are some repetitive sections such as simple interface and all of that. Then in terms of experience, it, it is a, has something but it lacks a screenshot or visual. I mean with the free version of chat GPT, we can't supply it with the screenshots. So that's that's one area that where it will lack. But usually it will also give you other inputs where you can improve your article. Basically, I mean, uh, you can just go through the whole thing and try and understand where your article is lacking and how you can improve them and then kind of get it fetched again by Google Search Console. So basically how we use this whole process is we take a look at which pages of our site has lost the most traffic recently and then we go and compare them one by one with the articles that are now ranking and we see where we can improve this and then what we do is either we give it to our writers or we also use chat GPT itself to, to suggest and write those sections for us so that our article becomes more helpful to the reader. And overall, then we, we update that into the site and then we kind of fetch it in Google search console so that Google is able to see that we are improving the overall content of the site, trying to make it more helpful. And alongside it, we also do link building with the awesome links that we provide. You can DM me for that. And basically what Google sees is this site is becoming more helpful day by day. All of the articles that were non classified as non helpful earlier have been improved and with more new links coming to the site, that means this is uh, becoming a very authoritative resource in this area. And then it starts to reward you by removing that non helpful classifier and you start ranking more and more and you start recovering the traffic that you had lost. I hope I was able to simplify the whole process for you. 
it might sound a bit complex but when you start implementing it it becomes really easier and if you have chat gpt plus you can simply just input your article versus the competitor article whereas with chat gpt you'll have to do more work manually but it's free so that's it for this video make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when i release more videos like this and have a look at these videos where you'll see how i make use of chat gpt and hrefs to rank my sites and do keyword research see you in the next one peace